So hello everybody, welcome Asia Network again with all of you with another video tutorial. Sorry for not posting past three weeks, but I wasn't feeling good enough for recording. Okay, never mind that. So today it is linking folder day. <laughs> so basically I will show you how to take a folder and link it to some other position. So any other application can think that this links folder is basically original folder like this one let's say this is a linked folder when we click on it open it it will show that it is like it is on desktop but when i click on it on the left side over here then you will see that it redirects me to original path of this folder which is on c same folder but for what would that be useful for? Let's say, for example, only uh, you have a game. Your truck simulator 2 that I am already making a tutorial also. Basically, you have plenty of mods, maps for that game. And this, all these files need to be into documents. Then your truck simulator 2 and inside a folder mod. But if you do not have, let's say, enough space for all of these modes that you want, you can make a link. So basically, you can move this folder to, let's say, some other disk drive that you have on your computer or other partition, and then just put all the mods inside that folder, make a link of this new path folder to the mod symbolic fake link, a fake folder. So basically, when the game will call this mod folder inside the documents, here Jack Simulator 2, it will basically read from the folder which is on your other disk drive. <laughs> and that is very useful. I use it, <laughs> of course. Okay, uh, before I tell you all this stuff, remember that all the links containing all the data, if you want to learn more about this, this link, uh, symbolic link, uh, then you can find them below this video in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like or dislike video and share with others so others can learn too. And let's start learning. So everybody, it is time for the first method. For the first method, we need to open up command prompt as administrator. So click whatever button you want, or start menu or search, and just start typing cm, cmd, cmd. Now, command prompt, just right mouse button click on it, that is very important, and click run as administrator and this black window appears. On the other side, I will leave it open Windows Explorer and I will link this some folder to the desktop. It is pretty easy. First, I opened Windows Explorer because it is easier just to copy the path and paste it over here. Okay, so let's start. First, we need to type in mklink then press space on the keyboard type slash d so big d press space and first we need to type in the path where the symbolic link will persist so in our cases we want let's say on the desktop so we will go to local disk c users the name of your Windows profile name, which is in my case machine 10. And then let's go to the desktop. You can put link wherever you want and you can take whatever folder you want. Okay, so on the desktop, just click somewhere empty up here. Just right mouse button click and click copy. So this link is copied. If you want to select manually, just click left mouse button and keep it hold it from the beginning and just go all the way to the end when it is 
whole link selected. Then right mouse button click and go, like before. Here, just press right mouse button click and it is already in place. Now we need to add the name of the folder, linked folder that we want to have. Let's say if for your track simulator 2 there is mod folder, then we need to ma make the name mod. So now I will just add another left slash like this and just type in let's say link at link folder. Now press space and now we need to go to the folder that we want to link. In my case it is some folder. Click over here, right click, copy just like before. But remember if you have in first or in the second link, in my case it's only in the second, space somewhere inside, that means that you need to use quotes. Just like this. First, I need to insert one quote, paste with the right mouse button click, and then another quote. So whole link is inside the quotes. You can also use the quotes on the first, even there is no space in it, that is all up to you. But if there is any space inside any of these two links, you need to have this whole link quoted. Now it's just a time to press enter key on the key and symbolic link create. And here it is, linked folder. You see, it is here. Or we go to the desktop, link folder, and here it is. But if you click on the link itself, from the left side, it will point you where actually this link resides, which is on local disk C some folder. One another thing is that I want to tell you is that you can safely delete this linked folder, just delete, and this link will be deleted, but some folder will still persist. And we are on the second method. Second method does not use command prompt, but it uses the link shell extension. That is just one file that you need to install in your system. It's very small, it's safe, and you can do all the links between, <laughs> within the Windows Explorer. Okay, so on this site, this link you can find below this video in the description. Here, when you are on the site, just click download, scroll down. If you want to support the person that made this extension, then you can also donate to him, you can contact him and so on. But in today's video, I am just using this application. So now, if you have Windows 64 bit, then use this installation. If you have 32-bit, then use this one. Remember, if you do not know which version of Windows you have, you can use my previous video tutorial on it, how to detect if your Windows is 64 or 32-bit. For my case, I know that it is 64-bit, so I will just click this link shell extension. I will save it on computer. Remember, in most cases, you will already have all necessary runtime files. But in case that this extension does not work, that you need these files, then you need to download for 64 and 32 bit if you are on 64 bit operating system. But remember that is only in very few cases, for some reason that those files are not persisting in your Windows operating system. So, uh, we downloaded it. I will just click on it. English, OK. And C program file, sanction extension. I will just click install. I need to wait a little bit. Make installation active. Must be restarted. Yes, I want to restart. That means that just this uh, Windows Explorer needs to be restarted in case this to work. Okay, this is the local version of the website, but doesn't matter. And now it's just time to close.
So we ju uh, just opened, next, installed, um, just confirmed that uh, application can restart the uh, Windows Explorer and that's it. That is all what you need to do. And now when I open up File Explorer back and go to the folder, some folder that I used before and I, when I right click on it, I have the link source. When I click on it, that is the, this extension and go to let's say desktop and just right mouse button click on it and you can even cancel the link creation or you can drop us any of those links. I will not go into depth what all these links mean and, and so on. If you want to know, you, you can read it from the description. I post a few links so you can learn a little bit. But I will just post the symbolic link. Wait a little bit and here it is, some folder. If you are not satisfied with the name, you can just right mouse button click, click rename and just type, let's say, link it folder. And that's it. Basically, it is way easier, but if you do not want to install this extension, then you will need to use command prompt. And now, you know, you can just open it and you see you are inside. If you click on it, you will be redirected to the folder. That's it. Yep, today's video is done. If you had any questions, if you want to ask me something, say hi whatsoever. Just type everything below this video in the comment section. Uh, otherwise, until next time, have a blast and see ya. Bye bye.